Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for All, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you for the likes and the shares and the support. I am so grateful. Thank you for coming back. Please thumbs up, like, and share these videos. I want to say that this is a wonderful week because it's the week of the fire. It is your energy vibration. And it is also the week of the chariot. So this is just wonderful for you guys because you are a fire element. The color of the week is orange. It is the last week of October and the week begins from the 24th until the 30th. When we look at the angel, it's Archangel Metatron. And for you guys, it's connect to your inner little self. Okay, just connect to yourself connect to yourself, always connect to yourself. You will find out just on its things that you weren't aware of. As we look at, um, Monday, Monday, the energy of the tower, which is a wonderful energy for you guys, because the tower comes in to, um, remove all these people that has been, um, standing at a sideline, looking at you, watching you and talking about you. We can call them the haters, but we, I just call them the lower energy people that don't want to see other people going further. So there's a lot of it was going on and the tower comes in, which is your zodiac um, fire energy comes in and break that off. And it's just going to be removed. As we look at Tuesday, Tuesday is a wonderful day. The energy of if you're a woman looking for a man, you're going to meet someone and this person can either be a business partner or an intimate partner to you. It's not really saying that it is going to be the love of your life, but this person has love for you and is a very trustworthy person. You can always connect with him. He's going to help you. Um, as we look, it's the same energy for the men also. If you're looking for a woman, trust me, the universe send this woman and she's going to support you in every endeavor that you can. So open up your energies for it because it has to do with a relationship for you guys on Tuesday. On Wednesday, the energy of the hermit is here and the hermit is bringing in and uh, bringing an end to a situation that was going on in your life, Okay. And this situation, it can be something, uh, in, uh, 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 um, an inner conflicts that you were dealing with, with yourself, uh, uh, inner conflicts from not thinking that you're good enough. And Hermit is here to show you, you are good enough. And he is breaking away that thing and removing your ego. Because most of the time, when we have in conflicts about ourselves that we're not good about things, it's because our ego is trying to tell us that. But the universe and the spirits and your soul know who you are, and you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people. As we look at the energy on, um, on Thursday, the sun, another wonderful earth, um, fire energy for you is here. If you're planning anything, um, um, Thursday is a good day, but, um, be careful because someone is there trying to, um, like break your luck. It, they're trying to block your luck and it's right on top of that energy is right over you. It's like someone, and it could be these two people in the beginning, you know, it, it broke off on Monday, but they're still there on Thursday, still trying to see whatever they can do to just break your luck, but just leave it, just walk away and it will be okay. As we look at the energy on Friday, this is wonderful Friday. Whatever you're doing, connect with your kids. It's very important. If you're a woman, connect with your kids. Do something with your kids. Go to the movie. Take them to the shopping center. Go do something with your kids. They want your attention. Um, if you are a, um, someone and your mom is still alive and there was a quarrel or conflicts, please, the energy of the day is going to be so wonderful. If you have a situation with your daughter, please connect with this person because it's going to be wonderful. For the men, it's going to be wonderful. As we look at Saturday, the energy vibration of you want to move and do something, either you want to travel to somewhere, you're thinking about moving, the energy vibration is here. If you decide to move, you will find that place so go start looking now because the place will be found because 
And if you're looking for a house, you're going to find that house because on Saturday you will connect to something. And this, the, the, the key is here on Saturday to bring you. So if you're looking for a house, you're going to find it. If you're looking for somewhere to work, you're going to find it. The energy vibration is here in this week. Your overall energy is going to be the three of pentacles in reverse, but yet still the two of cups together. So this is it's not bad. You know, you're no longer, um, trying to figure out something. You are already doing it and you find it out. And the two of cups is here. It's that man that you have met of that woman you have met on Tuesday that is going to come together and bring something together in your life. And I want to say thank you for being here. Please like and share these video thumbs up and stay tuned for the general reading. Well, this is the week number 43, and it is the last week of October 2016. And what is happening here um, at this time is that um, we are at the, the end of a cycle in our lives in this year. Okay, what I need to say to you guys is that I am supporting and promoting um, artists and at, at the end of the year, you will always constantly see the energy or the paintings from Arlena. Um, dot com. Arlena.com is a very wonderful Polish artist and she artilina.com sorry and she is working i found her she's a polish artist and she's wonderful she is doing these wonderful spiritual work these painting what she's doing has the um the connection of the same work that i'm doing but um most of us as light workers we i use my voice to heal people and she uses her paintings to heal people so we're working with Arli artilina in the month of october and for other artists who would like to get their stuff out, doesn't know how um, to get their stuff out because you, do, you, are, you don't have enough financial backative or whatever it is, please send us a mail and we will get your um, artists going with our program here. Okay, it is the week number 43. And what is so wonderful about this week is that we have the Lord of the world okay whenever he comes in it's he is communicating with us and he is communicating with us always telling us what is going on because sometimes because this is one of the energies from the wisdom um the wisdom um tarot card and i love this and i love the way she did this this Lord of the world comes in to awaken us and to let us see that sometimes some things are not vibrating at a higher vibration. That means that people are being dishonest. So he comes in to communicate with us if we need information from out the spirit world, or he can praise us, or he can let us see the dishonesty that is going on around us without us even knowing what is going on. So there is a lot, there is so much help from the universe that the universe always sent into us he's here to it's for some people you will get communication that there is you know good communication some people will get praise but some people will get to find out that there's this honesty going around what the energy of, of of this week there is a man holding a coin in his hand this is a man that has money that is holding a coin in his hand but this man is not really honest because not a lot of people who are rich who are honest they get their money in dishonest ways especially if that happened and you get money in a dishonest way it always goes away quickly and what the energy is saying of this week, be careful of this man. You have a deep feelings that something isn't right, okay? And that is the next energy that I have coming up. And that is from the Oracle. And I love the Oracle. I call it, call it my grandmother card, speaking to my grandmother. And the Oracle always, 
Whenever this energy comes up, the oracle is trying to get our attention to say to us, you have a feeling that something isn't right. Just listen to that intuition because that is how our spirit guides, our angels and our higher self connect with us. Veer to think if you meet someone or you um, have contact with someone and you just do not feel that energy vibration from that person. And you don't, you, you have a feeling that I don't know what it is, but I just don't connect with this person. Sometimes it is good to listen to your, your feelings because there is a message that your intuition and your guides are given to you. The next energy that I have is the energy of details, 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 details. Sometimes we're trying to do stuff and sometimes um, people are draw, trying to draw the wool over your eyes and it's always look at the details, you know, look at the details. It's like when I'm doing an energy, I just don't want to hear anything about what the problem is just ask me the questions. And I realize that my, the energies comes out and flow out and I can just give you a broad, amount of information that you weren't expected. So everything in this week, it has to do with details. Listen to your intuition. It's a wonderful energy in this week. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Namaste until next month.